Oops. We're gonna make some cheese sauce, cheese sauce. We're gonna make vegan cheese sauce. Hi, I'm Beth Hornback from Pass the Plants, and today we are going to make vegan cheese sauce. We're going to take a whole bunch of things that have nothing to do with cheese and put them together, and strangely, when it's done, they actually taste cheesy. So, how is this done? Let me show you. We're gonna get started. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is cook, it's gonna sound weird, red lentils, oats, cashews, potatoes, and carrots together make them all nice and soft. Oh, and some garlic cloves. So I'm going to first take my red lentils and rinse them off in my handy dandy strainer here because when they come dried, they can often have like some dust on them or some debris or rocks. You don't want that in your cheese sauce. That would not be good. One moment, please, while I rinse these off. Okay, so now we're gonna add these to a nice big pot. Okay, whoops. Stow away, stow away lentil, you get in there. Okay. That's all we got for the lentils. Now we're gonna add, oh, that's a half a cup, by the way. This is a half a cup of rolled oats. I really like using these over quick oats because they have more, they're gonna contribute more to the texture because they haven't been already cooked at all. So we've got that going in. And now we have um, half a cup of raw cashews. So you don't want them roasted. They're gonna taste too sweet. Um, but these are gonna soften as they cook so then you don't have to worry about soaking them because I'm looking out for you. Okay, in they go. And then we have about a cup and a half of chopped carrots, nice and small, so they'll cook faster. And finally we have, ooh, I have to chop these, I forgot. Um, so I have three peeled Yukon Gold potatoes. And I like the Yukon Gold because they're a lot creamier. They don't have that kind of starchy, the same starchy quality as the russets. So I'm just gonna chunk those up real quick. Okay. So the key with this is to just make sure that you have enough water to cover it so that there is enough water to cook, uh, particularly the lentils, so nothing sticks. So about four cups should do it. Okay, so now we're going to bring this to a boil and then reduce it to a simmer, medium simmer, for about 10 minutes, just until the lentils are completely cooked and the potatoes and the carrots are soft. Okay, so we are back with our cooked lentils, oats, potatoes, carrots, and cashews and garlic. And they have cooked down quite a bit. Now they're nice and soft and squishy, but they are still sitting in a lot of liquid, so we wanna strain that off before we blend it with all the seasonings. So I have the same cup or measuring cup that I used for the water, and then the same strainer that I used for the lentils. Little spoon, ladlefuls of this at a time and we'll let the extra liquid drain away. Then I'll just take this one at a time and put it here in the blender. <laughs> it's like really plopped on me. Okay, so we have mysterious gloppy substance looking stuff in here, um, but it is going to taste amazing, I promise. So now we are going to flavor the sauce before we blend it all up. So we've got a lemon that's gonna provide some of that nice tang. Just gonna, just gonna juice one lemon here. All right. And then we're gonna do a teaspoon of salt. And then this is a half a cup of nutritional yeast. And then this is really important. This is two tablespoons of light miso. I use chickpea miso so that this is soy free. And this gives it a really nice kind of fermented cultured taste because miso is actually been fermented. So that really does help the cheesy factor flavor of all that. So we're gonna blend it on up and check out that creamy cheesy goodness. Okay, I'm just gonna go take a little taste test here. It smells cheesy. Mmm. <laughs> it's so crazy. Mixing lentils, potatoes, oats, 
cashews and some flavorings together and you get this like wacky, wacky cheese sauce, but it's so creamy, so thick, so cheesy, so cheesy. And you get like that, all that protein, all the, all those vegetables, and then I'm gonna put them on some vegetables. Hmm. Oh, look at that beautiful goodness. Velveeta ain't got nothing on this cheese sauce. Mmm. Mmm. It's so good. It's the cheese sauce. Man, I hope you'll make this sauce and let me know what you think. Because I really love to hear your thoughts. So leave a comment in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel so that you can always know when I've posted a brand new plant-based recipe for you to make for your family. Thanks guys.